Oh, we're all here from AndroidTech.com, and in this week's weekly app review, we're going to kick things off with AppLock. AppLock is an application where you can lock um, your specific applications or all your applications out with a pin. Um, this is great. So, this is an application you started off with um, to enter your pin. When you first sign up for the account, you enter your default pin wherever you want it to be, and that will be a pin to unlock any application. And what it does, it scans through your applications, and then you have like a little lock symbol next to it to show you whether whether the application is locked or not. So let's say, for example, we wanted to lock BBC iPlayer. We could lock BBC iPlayer. Um, we could lock uh, the calculator one. So those two are locked. Um, you can set your pin, like I said before, and it shows all your applications. Um, it, it shows the ones, the applications that you downloaded from the marketplace and the ones you have pre-installed. So you have stuff like clock. You have cleanly could lock all of those applications. So let's see it in action. So a little BBC iPlayer. Once you click on BBC iPlayer, it automatically greeted with a pin. You see the logo, the application name, and you just enter it in. I've got it set to one two three for this uh, test. I've got it set to one two three four five, and it just unlocks, and then it takes you straight into the application. Um, this application is great if you want to like keep people out from like nosing around in your phone, looking through your stuff, pictures, video, going in your applications, checking your Facebook, and you know do all of that stuff it's just another layer of security you know to keep your phone safe and protected like i said you don't have to unlock every single application on your phone but you can unlock like the ones that have sensitive inf information like your facebook uh, emails and stuff like that you can look look at those applications just by swiping across and you could just unlock it again by tapping it and you could also have the option down here to lock all your applications as well. So, you know, this is a great application if you know when it in enhance your security on your phone and or just look at certain applications, you know, to keep people from kind of nosing around in your phone and looking for your phone. But anyway, this application is completely free and you can pick this one up free from Google Play. The next app we're going to be taking a look at is Color Splash. Um, this application kind of it's best if I show you. First of all, I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to show you. Basically, it adds like a, an effect onto a picture when you take it. So, it's going to take a quick picture of this water bottle. Um, sip, sip, sip. And what it does, it will, once you take the picture, it automatically adds like a black and white tint to it. And if you were to tap anywhere on the screen, it adds color to wherever you've um, highlighted on the screen. So you could have just that logo in color and the rest of the picture black and white. Um, this is a great um, application if you want to add like effects to your phone. Say for example, this is a monitor in the background. Say for, for example, you just want to have the, the monitor in the background in color and everything else black and white. You could try and have that effect and you could do that. It looks really nice. And also, let's if we could change this around. If you miss it, you could just press this one and it adds a black and white back to the picture. So if you mess up or make a mistake or go over anything slightly, you could adjust it. And you could also um, pick a color. For, um, so if you wanted it in like light blue, um, you could add like a blue tint to it, which is really nice. And you could also have, um, you have FX up here, so you could um, add like an X-ray effect to it. Uh, pencil, blur, tunnel, you know, you've got these nice different effects you could add to it. So you could really like adjust it to the way you want it and you could also stuff down here you could adjust the brush brush so if it's like too thick you could like make it thinner and really get you know in those corners and then after you finish your picture you could just go up here um from here you could save it either to your phone send it by email you could unlock um this is the free version you could unlock it and remove the ads and you could either share it to all your usual social networks like Facebook, email, Twitter and all of this stuff and all the applications that are associated with um, that are installed on your phone. And this is just a good look at Color Splash, you can pick this up free from Google Play. The next application we're taking a look at is RoboSurf. It's going to get started up with the first level. Um, what you have to do is your robot and your surfing, it sounds kind of strange but and what you have to do is you have to tap the screen to either go up and when you release it, you automatically go down. Let's turn this down a bit. And as you're going along, you have this bar at the bottom and you have to click, um, try click these barrels of oil. And once you click, the more you click, the more it fills up. And then you could swipe this, um, your hand across the screen and it will go, it will give you like a little boost and you could go very fast. So you have to click these. And at the same time, you have to try and avoid the um, obstacles at the bird. Um, you have birds, you have um, sharks as well. You have to try and avoid. So it does get um, more difficult as you progress. Um, the game itself is really good. You can see the graphics are nicely done. You have to try to avoid obstacles like that. 
So you just have to have your right timing and you know use the right amount of uh, touch on the screen to get it just right. So we could swipe the screen and we could just go across and we could hit all of the birds and collect uh, more oil cans and stuff. Um, it's a really really nice application, very um, entertaining to play and at the top uh, right hand corner of the screen you can see um, the travel distance. So the objective is to try to get as far as you can without um, hitting anything and dying. And you do have that shark there that's trying to eat you up and you have to try and avoid it at the same time so it does get very difficult. And yeah this is just a quick look at um, this application, you can pick this one up free from Google Play. The next application is apps to SD. Um, this application scans through your entire phone and shows you all the applications that are installed on your phone and which ones are available to move to your SD card. Um, this is a great application if you have a phone that has a limited space um, and you want to try to save as much space as possible to install new apps. You could do that by moving it to your SD card and this is a great application that does it. It goes through the application and tells you how much memory is taken up. You can see this takes up quite a lot of memory and some phones are very limited you want to move it to SD card and you know make room for more apps. Um, so how this works is you could tap on it and from here it takes you to application info from here you can have it un uninstall it and you have moved to store phone storage so you can just tap it and it moves automatically to your phone storage and frees up more space on your phone. So let's wait for that to move. Set move in the background. Um, what an, what, um, another great thing about this application is you could clear out all your cache. So um, when you first do a scan, it auto straight away it tells you you have this amount of cache and you could clear it there and then. I had 75 uh, megabytes of cache, so you could clear all of that and save yourself 70, 75 megabytes of um, space to install more applications. Um, this is a great application. It also shows you all the ones that are installed on your SD card and it shows you the ones that are on your phone uh, are just on your phone itself and how much memory it takes up and it has this um, the really f the nice thing I like about it is it has this nice icon with the title at the top it's nicely presented and nice clean um, interface and you can pick this one up um, application up free from Google Play the next application we're taking a look at is 3D Badminton this is a great uh, 3D Badminton game you can see what the, how the graphics is like this little kind of square character kind of wiggling about um, Graphics aren't too great, but it's kind of simple graphics that actually does work. So we're just going to take a look at it. Start off on easy. And what you have to do to um, play it is just basically swipe it across. And he's going to hit it back, and you just have to keep swiping it. And the more power you use, the, um, the further back it goes. So you have to kind of be careful not to use too much power, but you just, just enough power just to get it over. Yep. So you can see how the graphics are. The graphics are nice. It's nothing too like high definition or sharp or anything. It's just basic graphics that really uh, do work. So if you're really into badminton, you really like it. Um, it's really great. And on the back, uh, you have the board with the scores, so you can keep up to date with how um, how you're doing and how much time you've uh, played for. And you could try do some trick shots as well. Like I said, the graphics are nice. I really do like the game. It's simple and um, clean graphics. And yeah, if you're really into badminton, definitely pick this one up. Um, it's free from Google Play. And as usual, the last thing we're going to be taking a look at is a live wallpaper. The live wallpaper we're going to be taking a look at is Magic Crystal. Um, this is a great um, application. There's a paid version and a free version. I'm going to be taking a look at the paid one because I want to show you all the different features. So this is what it's going to look like. And everything you see here is customizable. So we're going to go straight into settings. Um, these are the different themes that you have available. So you have the Enchanted Forest. You can tap on that and you see it changes the theme. Um, you can change it to the Crystal Cavern. Back to the one that was just on. You have um, Aurora Plains. So you know you could really customize it up and that's just the beginning of it. If you go down again, you could change how you want the camera, you could have it still or active, you could change the direction whether you want it zoomed, and you could also change the background as well. So if you don't like that background, you could um change it up. Um let's say we want a black wall. You can see background change it to this uh, nice black wall. Uh you got different backgrounds to choose from as well, so uh, let's go with this one. And you could also change the type of crystal, spare or shard, um, let's keep it as a shard, change the color, um, change it to purple, 
and you could also change the stuff as well so there's just a bunch of different options you can make really customize up your wallpaper to make it look different from everyone else's let's go with that stuff and let's go back and see how it looks and that's how it looks and we're just going to apply it and actually show you how the wallpaper looks on the screen so this is what it looks like you got the kind of purple shard with these kind of um, flies or flying around it looks great um, the images are sharp and it runs very smoothly as well you can get an idea of how it is very um, sharp and it has a battery saver mode as well so if it's less than 60 percent it will have less of these um, flies flying about so you, you know conserve battery at the same time so this is a great live wallpaper definitely go check out the free version if you like it pick up the paid version to unlock all of those uh, features that i just showed you and yeah that's about it for the video Leave your comments below, tell me what you think, and recommend me some applications for the next video and also don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and thanks for watching.